Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Preparation Ape. You know what place for? Certified motherfuckers. Yay! I'm DKP. I'm Major Tom. And of course, we're coming at you live from, from Twitch.tv slash Chain Swipe every single Thursday at 8 now, p.m. Central Standard yeah, Time. Yeah, I think we're going to move it to 8. Yeah. Uh, what do we got on the Red Sox tonight, Major T? Um, so, I want to do a Fall Games preview. Fall Games preview is a very important episode. To, it's a very important part of Preparation Ape. Our very first episode ever of Prep Ape was Fall Games 2015. Is that what it was? Yeah. Huh, okay. Yeah, where we went through every game that was coming out from like... That was two years ago now? Two years ago. From we've, been, we've been doing just Preparation 8 for two years. Well, we're about a month away from it, because it was September, it was yeah. the first first week of September, and it was right after MGS and Mad Max had come out. No kidding, wow. Yeah. Because we've yeah. been streaming for a while before we did Prep 8. Yep. Huh, okay. So, uh, Dude, very busy August. Almost episodes, man. Almost there. You know, the, you know the, the title we get to use when that happens, right? You guys should co commentate on your very first Prep 8. That was episode oh, 50. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, we did and, that uh, exact thing. So go back and watch episode 50. No, I think, I think what we... Wasn't we our, talked wasn't about doing for Wasn't our plan 100. was we're going to keep Com incrementally well, doing we, it? Yeah, we would commentate we, we, on episode 50. We talk, yeah, every 50 <laughs> episodes. Do you want to do that? I don't know, because episode 100 is <sighs> like, it's really close, but that's a big fucking deal. Well, but the thing is, like, the, that one, the 50 felt great, because it was like just us celebrating having 50 under our belt, and just talking, talking shit about us. I have a plan you know, for our 100th. I guess I'll just lay it out there now. Um, the top 10 Chainsaw games of all time. Did we already do that? No. We've never done that. We've done top 10 NES. We did top 10 N64, well, I do, think. Do you want to leave it, like, maybe we'll do, like, a community vote before then? Yeah, we'll figure something out. Okay. Because I think that could be fun. Might not work, but I think if it didn't work, it would be better if everyone had voted on it. and would be like, okay, well, at least it wasn't our idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just seems, so, uh, it, I don't know. I think it could be it, funny. It could be, but, it, like, I feel like episode 50 is kind of boring. Because it's <laughs> us just watching it. I don't know. Well, no, because we were just talking about basically whatever, and then making fun of ourselves. I like it. I don't know. I haven't gone back and watched it, though. So. You should go back and watch it. Nah, I'm not going to do it. I'll just take a word for it. It's not bad. It's just not as good as I would have hoped it would have been. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we're going to cover... So, I was working on the list. I made the list of all the things that we're either interested in, or I think that our community may be interested in in one way or uh -huh. another. Um, and it was like fucking 70 games. And number one, the show's an hour now. And number two, <clears throat> half of that's going to take more than an hour. So we're going to try to get half that in an hour. I don't think we're going to make it. I think it's probably going to be about an hour and a half long. But uh, we'll see. Cutting into our Corona Trigger time, man. We are. Absolutely. <clears throat> but uh, also, Arby, you need to get your shit straight. First, you were saying Wayne Gretzky 98 was the greatest game of all time. Now it's just 3D hockey? What the fuck, Arby's? If we were going to surprise you and stream one, like, you had to make up your mind. But all right. So, uh, you just want to go and move on? Let's go. Let's, let's do it. it. Yeah, we got a lot to do. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me open my... W-O... So, yeah, how we're going to do this is we're going to do it based of. on week ofs. Yeah. So, uh, so we didn't have to have an image for every single, uh, you know, game, and it would take for fucking ever to put together. Right. We're just going to do a week of, and then we're going to talk about that game. Of course, the laptop is crapping out on me, but I can tell you that the week of July 31st, which is the week we're in now, only one game on there. <clears throat> that game is Tacoma. It came out on PC on Tuesday... And it came out yesterday on Xbox One. Tacoma is made by Fulbright. Uh, it is their second game. Their first game was Gone Home. Mm. Did you ever have the chance to play Gone Home? All right, first off, listen here. If I wanted to go to some dude's house and rummage through all his drawers, reading fucking weird notes about his gay kid, I'd do it at your place, all right? Secondly, yeah, I did play it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> got him but uh, yeah no I did play it uh, didn't care for it that much I didn't I think it was bad it. but I went into I it I bought it thinking it was, was going to be a horror yes exactly yeah. but, that's, but that's how you're supposed to go into it so sorry spoilers for Gone really because uh, when I was done with it and it just, uh, it just ended with like this really shitty jam band song and I was like well isn't it because you're what like the fuck oh I guess her and her gay friend ran away yeah, but then that was the it. It yeah, wasn't like, it. and she's dead in the basement. Like, yeah, you're rummaging through this empty house, and you're trying to like find out where your family is. And as you go deeper and deeper in, you start finding all these notes and letters and pieces of information mm. that basically reveal that your younger sister is gay. I thought it that, was your character. No. Oh. 
Okay. No, you're the sister coming to look look for where your family is. That oh. your younger sister's gay and that she ran away, and your parents mm-hmm. are not looking for. Um, yeah, okay. not bad. Tacoma is, takes place on a space station. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, hold on. Before we bring it to you, the other reason why I kind of like that game is because it felt like it's one of those things that's like at the, at the very best. I think like okay, when it when it does what it wants, when it accomplishes what it wants to, right? It's like eh, it was okay still, you know. Yeah, but people were like, oh it, my god. So groundbreaking. It broke new ground! Like, so deep and emotional. It, and it's like, no, it's a walking simulator. Factually like, speaking, walking is. simulators got way more popular after Gone Home. Which is not a good thing. I don't, I, I don't hate walking simulators. Yeah, you do. You've just been playing the good ones. What Remains of Edith Finch is not a walking simulator. Walking, what Remains of Edith, Edith Finch is like top ten best games of the year, for sure. Maybe even no, top I would five. not consider that a walking simulator, though. Because there's actually like... Did you play through it? I did. Did you enjoy uh, it? Yeah, I thought it was great. It's a walking simulator. No, I, not in my book. It's got some little mini <clears throat> games and stuff in it. It might. It's like a first-person exploration game because there's other things that other things that do take actual talent coded into it. It's not a lot of like store-bought assets that are just put that's together, fair. right? Uh, that's why it's just walking simulator is a game that doesn't take any additional coding besides placing the assets in the environment, yeah. aligning the camera, going around. That's it, right? Uh, so Edith Finch does not fit into that criteria. Uh, I have it downloaded. I plan to check it out, but uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> so um, general story is: is you arrive on this space station and everybody's gone. Like, what? Yeah. Then what happens? Then you explore. You start reading these logs about. <laughs> well, you don't really read the logs. Instead, oh. it's holographic logs, and you get to kind of see all the different characters and what they did, and like get to find out each of their individual stories. Same type of game. Do you see what I'm? You see I'm going here. What if, what if you boot it in and you're like, look, <laughs> the revelation is like, everyone on the space station had some weird sort of incestuous relationship. They don't do the same thing, and now they're gone. And then the space station's parents are out looking for them, and then it hits like some like really shitty jam band song again. Yeah, yeah. it's like did I just play through Juno the game. What the fuck it's, is this? It's possible with your hamburger <clears throat> phones. Uh, <laughs> what? Carson says, can you watch the holograms uh, bang? I haven't played it yet, but my guess is probably. Arby says, if you could own a taco truck, but instead of talking, you sell demo discs for new video games, would you learn to love again? Yes, I would. Um, all right. Move on to the next week. Week of August 7th. Mm-hmm. Move on to the... Oh, oh my bad. You. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, two games are coming out next week. Uh, on August 8th, we're getting Lawbreakers. Also on August 8th, we're getting Hellblade Sinua's Sacrifice. So Lawbreakers is the hero shooter by Cliff Blazinski's new team, Boss Key. Yep. Uh, Boss Key Games, I think is what they're called. Um, I mean, it's a, you know, I think he has pedigree to design. Him and his team will probably design a very good game, but not really into hero shooters. But um, if you like hero shooters, definitely be on the lookout for it. And then uh, Hellblade's The Newest Sacrifice is something I'm super interested in. It's developed by uh, Ninja Theory who developed DMC, um, Enslaved Odyssey to the West, and Heavenly Sword, which are, like, three games that I absolutely adore. To me, they're one of the most underrated studios out there. Uh, So they have this new game that it has Dark Souls-style combat, and it's about this girl who's, like, dealing with psychological issues like depression and things like that. And I think that she's fighting, like, her literal demons. Okay, I don't. I don't. I haven't <clears throat> seen it. Uh, uh, maybe maybe this, I have. The screenshot but... here is from the game. It looks like shitty Skyrim mod. <laughs> okay. Does it uh, not though? Hellblade looks like Horizon Zero Dawn to me. Says Kurtz. Like, tell I mean, me that doesn't. I mean, I don't know. I, I didn't play Skyrim. She's out in the wilderness. And <laughs> you she haven't played it, but you've seen it. I've seen. Oh, it. we've seen it. All. She's out in the wilderness. She has a sword. She's wearing armor. If that makes it look like Skyrim, then yes, it looks like. I mean, it Skyrim. looks about the graphics of Skyrim too. I mean, not that that's a huge deal breaker either. That is something yeah. that they noted. The game is going to be thirty bucks, and they're like, "This is an indie game that is also that want that we want to feel and look like a triple A game." So um, I don't I don't know if they're going to pull it off. I'm definitely going to play it. Uh, it comes out next week. So, yep. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh geez, the old days. Uh, How fucking long ago was that? Uh, I mean, you had you had the art the eye scar. That's twenty so, had to be last year, right? It was beginning of last year, about a year and a half ago. Fuck. 
Good times. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty pretty stoked for uh, Hellblade. Oh, I do want to do one thing. There was something I wanted to add, which is like uh, the DKP brand of approval and the Major Tom brand of approval. Okay. So of these two games, uh, Lawbreakers and Hellblade, which <clears throat> one has the DKP? Every week, I want to do. Like this is the one that you should keep an eye out for. Uh, and actually try and play. Yeah. I would Not necessarily say, you try and play, but like it's the one that like you that you as an individual would say like you guys should at least watch a trailer on this game. Uh, I would say Lawbreakers. Cool. Uh, which is weird because I've been talking a lot of shit about like hero uh, shooters. And hero shooters. But the one difference with uh, uh, with, with Lawbreakers is it's Cliff Bozinski and they, what they've uh, been like trying to make a big focal point for the game is mobility. Yeah. As I like the way they do this whole system. thing. Yeah, that. Uh, to where there's going to be, it's not just about like running in and shooting. It's going to be, you know, it's PC only as far as I know. No, it's not. No, really? Yep. Okay. Well, either way, playing it on PC very much like Doom, I imagine it would be very beneficial as uh, you'll be able to have like those switch movements of, you know, and with the increased mobility moving fast, uh, like Quake almost, you know, that really uh, precision uh, sort of fast paced combat, yeah. which I don't think any of the other games really kind of. Uh, can not really make their, fo- their their point of focus. So I would say, out of the two, that one. For me, definitely Hellblade. I am. Uh, next up, next page. How to get Major DKP's approval. Don't. How to get Major Tom's be Nintendo. <laughs> That's fair. Wayne Gretzky did all the motion cap- pad capture for Wayne Gretzky 3D Hockey 98. Ooh. Next. Impressive. There it is. Uh, the week of August 14th. So we get a lot of games that come out on the 15th and then one that comes out on the 18th. August 15th, we have Matterfall. Uh, Matterfall is made by Housemark, the guys who make... Uh, <laughs> I heard Bill Maher's voice. I'm a Housemark. <laughs> I just started laughing. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, they made uh, Rezogun, which was that really successful PS4 launch game. Uh, there's that one where you shoot zombies, and there's one where you shoot aliens, uh, and I can't remember. They basically make twin-stick shooters, and then, like, shmups. So, which are basically shmups as well. But they're very, very, very good at what they do. And this one's a side-scrolling shmup. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, also, well, Pepev, uh, if you're interested, the next one is... There's only two, right? No, there are, like, ten. Oh, okay. Uh, next up is Night Trap. Okay, there you go, it's Night Trap. Night Trap You'll is, be seeing this one. Night Trap uh, is a game a from a bajillion years ago. Yep. Like, it's about 20 years old now. Maybe well, it was older. very controversial like when it came out. Yeah. Because it's these girls that are getting kidnapped, right? Mm-hmm. Never played it back in the day, uh, but it's getting re-released, so it'll be a good time to check it out. Uh, it's on GOG, I think. Uh, hurrah, I would totally watch this. Yeah, we're definitely going to stream it. Um, that is this game here. It is pictured here. So, yeah. Check that out. Uh, next up, Sonic Mania on August 15th. This is the Sonic I'm game. I'm actually going to play that. Well, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. This is the Sonic game that everybody who plays it says this is the best Sonic game in years and potentially ever. Because it's like the old ones, which, like, but also it's The old new. ones weren't super great to yeah, me. But I played like, them back in the day. They, but I would imagine they fixed what sucked about them, which is like, hey, you gotta, go, you gotta go fast. The game's about going fast. Yeah. But the game isn't designed for you to go fast. For There's sure. just, like, walls and spikes in the way. Pretty sure... The guy designing this probably fixed that or streamlined that. And they said that it's supposed to like subvert your expectations, where it's like, oh, Green Hill Zone is level one, but then it does something crazy that you've never seen before. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty interested in that. Uh, That comes out the 15th. Uh, Also, Nidhogg 2. We played quite a bit of Nidhogg here on the channel, done some tournaments and stuff. Nidhogg 2, to me, it didn't catch my interest. It did, well, it looks... Re- it's ugly. Like, the characters are mod- character models are ugly. It just looks very, very ugly. It reminds me of games from the mid-90s that were intentionally ugly. Like, intentionally ugly characters. You know, like Example. Boogerman and stuff. Okay, sure. Just, just, stuff just looks really ugly. So, I'm, I don't know. We'll play it, because it's Nidhogg. What's on your polo? What is this? It's, our, it's a microphone. Or Barbecue says, uh... Sonic Mania looks awesome. Gonna play through that shit as Knuckles. Uh, if you didn't want to be kidnapped, they should have been. They shouldn't have been girls. I mean, they could have. Well, I mean, this was the '90s, right? Yeah. They couldn't. They couldn't fix that back then. <laughs> now, I mean, what if they? They didn't have what, Facebook to like social justice. What if they updated it today and it's just like the guys get there like, oh, 
Oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to be part of that. We're kidnappers, goddammit! Uh, next up, also on August 15th, Agents of Mayhem. This game is made by Volition. What up, Rose? Hi! Uh, this game is made by Volition, the guys who made S the Saints Row games. Uh-huh. This is their, like, game that is one of the most complicated games to understand. So, you play as... There's, like, ten different agents you choose from. And you choose a party of four. And then throughout the game, you just switch to the different party members that have different abilities. But the game is not multiplayer. It doesn't have any co-op. It doesn't have anything like that. It's just a single-player, open-world game, similar to something like Saints Row. But you switch out your different characters. So it's like a combination of a hero shooter mixed with, like, Saints Row. But it's all okay. single-player. Um, I don't know if it'll be good. My guess is it won't be. But Probably not. Did you just assume they're Jenners? No. Maybe. Not they're Jenners. Uh, next, City Skylines is coming to consoles on August 14th. August, sorry, 15th. That's uh, pretty cool. Yeah. The ports. I don't know if it'll work version. too well. I, the reason I put this on here... Well, I mean, SimCity for the SNES worked just fine. Yeah, that was my first experience with it. But you weren't necessarily, like, terraforming in that game. Yeah. So... I'm sure they'll make it work. It can but, work, I think. Uh, it's cool that it's coming, and it really... I threw this in here is because... I wanted to talk about City Skylines. Did you play City Skylines? I did not. I'm not a big fan of, like, uh, SimCity, though. Dude. See, I, 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 I mean, always... That's, that's, that's the game like, that lost me my job at EA, basically. Ah, so. uh, yeah, that's true. And even then, I wasn't a big fan. No. It's funny. I, I have similar feelings about SimCity. When, SimCity. To me, the worst, my worst time working at EA was SimCity Launch Week. That was mm -hmm. the worst time I'd ever had working at it was very hard. People were very mean. We, we lives, had a very Sims specific died. thing that we were allowed to say. Which any time that we are forced to say specific things, it felt very hard. Because we were we, basically lying. Like we weren't told that we were lying, but like we knew it. Well, it was just stuff like you know, like, as a manager, I should have the right to be able to do certain things, like provide refunds for for customers <laughs> that I could not do, yeah. even though they couldn't play the game or they had problems with it or the DRM issues or whatever. I just like mm -hmm. that was a very very trying time. Um, when I left EA. Uh, I went to the director and I was like, hey, can I get some games added to me on my personal account before I leave? And he was like, yeah, sure. I added SimCity. Because I'm like, I, I, it's like a, you know, a time of like death of like, okay, I'm getting past the whole SimCity thing. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're kind of getting into the weeds and we have a long show. Um, City Skylines, I, I hear it's very good. So I'm not saying I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it, but I definitely think it's one that if you guys are interested in, you should check out. Yeah, Skyline behind you guys, it's so metropolitan. Indeed. But there's the tiniest fucking looking cap I've ever seen. You see that? Yeah, there's a kappa there. Oh. <laughs> I don't you know why it's this big. Uh, you know, it's uh, only needs to re remake is Dark Cloud 1. I was a huge fan of that game. That's what's up. Never played it. Uh, would you either have to play play out your life like a game of D&D, &D, want to drive somewhere, roll a D20 to find your keys, or will you always smell like cheese? Uh, D20. Yeah. Small Russian village, give battle funds. I come from small village in Russia. Give me battle funds. And then finally on August 18th, which is also the week of August 14th, mm. Zero Time Dilemma, the third game in the Zero Escape series. A game that I played the first one. I didn't play the second or third. I uh, played it last year during my 52 last year, and it was so damn good. So hopefully I'll get, you know, get the, the itch to play through it. It's like a, a Saw-type game where a bunch of people get kidnapped and they have to escape. <clears throat> You have to solve puzzles, visual novel. Right. Very Japanese. Very okay. cool. Next! Oh, wait, before we go. What is our stamp? Uh, mine's Night Trap. Mine is... <clears throat> Zero Time Dilemma. Really? Yeah, check it out. Zero Time Dilemma. I want All right. Happens. So next week of August 21st. Yep, we have uh, two games. Yeah, I if I was talking about one of them uh, up above, which is pretty exciting. Yep. Uh, Uncharted, is, yeah. The Lost Legacy is getting released. Uh, I intend to do, I don't know if you're down for this, I don't know what Maybe you'll be doing. a solid playthrough of it? But yeah, a, a straight playthrough that yeah. night. I'm down with that. It comes out, we stay up late, we play all the way through it. Sure. You down? Let's do it, man. Cool. We're doing it. Um, and then on August 25th is uh, Madden. Madden NFL 18. So, normally, you know, obviously sports games, it won't work. Nope. Doesn't work. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, um, all right, so stamp of approval. Uh, Uncharted. Uh, there is something I want to say about Madden real okay. quick. Um, number one, this is the first time it's on the Frostbite engine, which is a visually like a 
awesome, awesome uh, graphics engine. And then second, this one is a single player campaign, The Long Road. So, seems pretty cool. Like, if there was a Madden that I would play, it would be this one. Because I love any time that there's, like, I love sports movies. Have you ever been a, are you a fan of sports movies? Like, movies where, like, the underdogs rise up and, like, end up taking the, you know, beating the Germans in hockey. Or... Uh, I liked Rocky. <laughs> yeah, Rocky's a great example. Um, uh, Rocky and the Mighty Ducks and Sandlot and Rudy and uh, Radio. Remember the Titans. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, Radio, yes. But, like, I, I've always loved sports movies. Not really into sports, but sports movies have always been really great to me. Um, and this looks like the story of a sports movie. So I mean, you're not, I did not play the FIFA. You're not wrong, I guess, but uh, I don't know. Nah, yeah. I'd rather watch Home play the crap out of Shot and Madden. See, Barbecue knows what I'm talking about here. Uh, but yeah, my stamp of approval, the Major Tom stamp, goes to Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. <laughs> How about you? Uh, yeah, same. All right, next up, All right, week of August 28th. Uh, everybody's golf is what we're going to start with. Everybody's golf. Oh, sorry. We, that won an award from us this year. That was one of the most surprising. <laughs> no, that was a different game. That was the Golf Club 2. <clears throat> oh, okay. No. Uh, everybody's golf is the seventh Hot Shots golf game. Mm. But in Europe and Japan, Hot Shots golf is called Everybody's Golf. So in Europe and Japan, this one is called New Everybody's Golf. Ooh. And here it's just called Everybody's Golf. What makes this special unique, if you guys have ever played the Hot Shots Golf game, they're fun. Is this Nintendo? No, it is not. It's so just the, a but Sony they're taking exclusive. like the Nintendo moniker. Bunch. Yeah, it's very, it's very like cartoony, arcadey, fun. What makes this one specially unique is there are tons of different mini games that you can play mm -hmm. uh, in addition to playing golf. There's other stuff to do. Also, it takes place on an open world course where you have right. to drive in a golf cart from, from hole to hole. So you can just basically just drive a golf cart around. So, uh, it makes it a lot more interesting to me. That's on August 29th. <clears throat> right, also on August it. 29th. <clears throat> you're really worried about this mini, mini no, Kappa thing. Ooh, I was trying to help out Mr. Kurtz and shit. Well, won't you invest your, there you go. your emotions in uh, psyche? It wasn't inclusive enough when it said everybody, right? Now that's what I call golf. Seven. Golf cart simulator. I know, right? So excited. Um, next up. Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, also on August 29th. Uh, previews have been coming out this week for it, and I haven't read a single preview that's like, this game sucks. All of them have been exceptionally, like, positive. <clears throat> uh, so, look forward to that. Uh, here's what I'm curious about. Um, now, you guys have all seen Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, because we've talked about it many, many times on Prep Ape, and we watched trailers, and we saw stuff for it at E3. Uh, <clears throat> it's going to have co-op. Like, two people can play together at the same time and, like, execute moves one after the other. Really now? Yeah. D is that something that we want to try to stream? Uh, no. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. It's up to you. Because part of me, yeah, Mario XCOM, great way <clears throat> to describe it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think we should. Just because it's one of those games that I really want to, like, dive deep in on my own. Um... You're you're on this mini K thing, huh? Well, because I don't see why Mister Kurtzank can't do it. He's 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 going. He's losing his mind. Yeah, dude, that's, that's how I did it. I don't know. Perhaps <clears throat> you should try it. See what you think first. Yeah, um, I'm 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 confident I'm gonna like it because as Kurtzank said, just <clears throat> be a Nintendo game and I'll like you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be a great stream. We'll have to see. Do you plan to get it? No. Really. Yeah, I'm literally copying and pasting what he has, and it's not working, so... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, probably not. I mean, like, unless it's really good, and then, like, I'm convinced afterwards What's the Metacritic it? have to be for you to get it? Doesn't even have to be the Metacritic. If Jim Sterling likes it, will you get it? I don't... I mean, I, I watch his videos, but I, that's... I'm not, like, a super fucking fan, no. Uh, I got it. You dude, gotta I don't know. If I just feel like it. There it is. If I get fucking... Be, if I get bored enough, then I'll do it. Otherwise... Otherwise, just World of Warcraft for you. Yep. Uh, next up, Yakuza Kiwami, also on the 29th. Now, this is a series we've talked about a little bit in the past, but it's one that neither of uh, like, we both did a stream for it. Yep. Um, Yakuza Zero, specifically. Yes, specifically Zero. Is that a series you eventually want to, like, get under your belt? Yeah, at some point. Uh, it's not a good, for me, it wasn't a good game to stream. 
Yeah, that's how I feel. Uh, about it. There was Not a, a great lot, stream game. A lot of dialogue. A game I really want to play. That if you're trying to interact with the chat at the same time, you're missing. <clears throat> and I think in order to enjoy the game to its fullest extent. Um, you know, you kind of need to be paying more attention than I was able to. So, not sure if I'm going to get this game until I be, at least beat Zero. There's no point. Yeah. So, I still have Zero there, probably. Uh, and I probably will not be streaming it if I do. Just okay. do that, that specific reason. I if I say I'm debating on getting it. Um, next up, Absolver. Are you familiar with Absolver? Uh, that's from uh, Devolver Digital, is that it right? It is a Devolver <laughs> Digital game, Yep, yes. I will certainly be picking that up and playing. It... So, uh, you know, I've heard of it and I've heard about it. Today I watched like a 10 minute preview of it for people that played 83. Mm. It looks cool. I don't know if it's my kind of game. <clears throat> no? It's, you know, it's combat focused. Well, I mean, like, I, I was Hotline like Miami Empire. your kind of game? Or was just like the art style your kind of I mean, is, is, is Hotline Miami anybody's kind of game? Like, I love Hotline Miami. It's like, but I'm th- it could not be more my kind of game. But what, what makes it your kind of game? <clears throat> Pretty much everything about it, from the soundtrack to the actual art style, yeah, but you, that like that, juxtaposes with like how gory it is, along with the actual gameplay. Which but I like the really the fun. soundtrack, that type of music is not music that you were ever that you and I ever talked about or listened to prior to that game existing. Yeah. But so I'm saying like <clears throat> even everything else about that game though, or about that series, those one and two, like did it for me. It worked really well. Never finished two. Finished one. One was great. I love, I love Hotline Miami, but right. that doesn't necessarily make uh, Absolver good. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, it reminds me a lot of Jade Empire, where it's like there's tons of different fighting styles. Oh, have you I seen see. Absolver? I have. Uh, it just didn't look like Jade Empire to me. Honestly. Not visually, just the way that there are tons of different fighting styles, and then you choose your fighting style as you go into different <clears throat> fights, and you get to kind of customize how you want to fight characters. But it's a semi-open world game. Kind of like, I guess, uh, something like a Final Fantasy XV would be, I guess. Where right. it's like not necessarily a huge open world, but there are open segments or sections to it. Um, next up, now this is a hot take for you. August 29th <clears throat> on PC, Ark Survival Evolved is releasing. Oh, this, wait, this is just some fucking... It, it's, it'll finally be out. Thanks, Arby's. Yeah, hey, cheers, man. <clears throat> MVC, you're talking about Infinite, or... Quantum we'll get to Infinite. Three. <laughs> we'll get to Infinite. <clears throat> um, yep, I could not give a shit. About Ark? Yeah, I don't care about Ark either. Although, and like, I, it's a very fascinating game, it's like, not, how, it's, how successful and popular it's been, considering it's not even out yet. Ark is a... Ark... Okay, so if you don't know what you that is... You can play it on Xbox right now. It's in early uh, access. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Which is like, oh, it's... It's it's uh, it's coming out. It's releasing. It's like, no, it's already fucking... Yeah, it's, it's been like, out for a long fucking it's time. It's been out for too. a very long time. It's just been uh, out in early access. Which is which doesn't mean shit. It's it just means like the, they can they can the, ship they have excuses shit as to why it's to. broken. And they don't even have to fulfill their product. They can just for keep sure. it in development forever. Arc is garbage um, this rose. But basically it's like a survive it's like Rust, like a survival game with dinosaurs. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of early access games either. I don't necessarily think they're bad. I'm just not into them. Like sorry, what's it called? PUBG. Sorry, player unknown battlegrounds. When you're finished, maybe I'll check you out. <laughs> Until then, no thank you. No wham bam. No winner winner chicken dinner for me. And then finally, wind jammers. You familiar with wind jammers? I can't see that I am. Uh, it was shown off and announced that it was coming to PS4 at PSX last year. It is a Neo Geo game where it's kind of like volleyball, but you have a disc. And it's like you playing. You like trying to throw the disc back and forth, and then you have all these different moves. It is like, so it's like Ricochet. If they do ever, it's kind of like a yeah, or like even something like Pong, but it's got additional moves. Yeah, that you but, can do. but it has like that uh, classic look to it. Yeah, it, it looks like released. a Neo Geo game. It's yeah. got the Neo Geo sprites and stuff. It like comes that. out for Switch, does it not? Um, I don't know if it's coming for Switch. This is specifically for the PS4 version. Okay. Um, but people like Giant Bomb and like the Easy Allies, they're all really, 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 mm. really excited. For and aren't it. they adding online play to it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, that, no, I uh, I'm confident that's a game that we're going to stream at least once. And we'll play sort of it, sure, yeah. Windjammers is a really mm-hmm. intense name for a Frisbee game, right? When you said that, I thought of, like, Windjammer Lamby. Like, the, <laughs> like you know, um, Jammer Lamby? Yeah. Uh, and then, finally, the last game of the week of August 28th, on August 31st, episode one of Life is Strange Before the Storm. So, what's interesting about this is Don't Nod made the original one. 
Um, and then they're working on Vampire and something else. Mm-hmm. So this is a completely different studio. Deck Nine is working on this game. Um, what's kind of nuts is this is the first game that's impacted by the voice actor strike that's happening. You know, there's a video of a <clears> voice actor strike. Not the first game. Uh, that the that Re- I know of that will be released. The Resident Evil 2 remake. Uh, they couldn't that get... That I'm talking about, like, it will be released in, in, a, in a particular timeline. Like, there are oh, well, way, dozens uh, of games that the, are being The original voice it. actress for Claire yeah. uh, was going to be approached, but for, due to the voice actor strike, the, yeah. the localization lot, team... You can actually no look it up. There are tons of games that are being affected yeah. by this. But this is the first one that will release after it's affected. And what that means is... There's a character who's in Life is Strange. Thanks, Troy Baker. You ruined my fucking Resident Evil 2 remake, you piece of shit. Uh, there's a character who's in Life is Strange who's also in Life is Strange Before the Storm. Completely different voice actor. And the voice actor, they still hired her for Before the Storm, but they hired her as a writer and as like a, what's it called? A consultant. Wait a fucking minute. So yeah. you're, so you're going to be like... She's hired. She just can't be hired to do the voice because she's on strike. That's one of the dumbest fucking things I've ever heard. Where it's like, <clears throat> I'm against this. You're treating people vile and disgusting. She's just in the. But no, she's in the. Uh, what's it called? In the union. She's yeah. in the union. So she's not allowed to. It, r- regardless of how she feels about it, she's just not allowed to work on it because she's in the union. I mean, for all I know, she could hate it. I don't know. I like the idea that they're hiring her and consulting with her. No, own. that's not the problem. It's, it's just retarded that, like, they have her on board. To, to, to work for their company. She's on the fucking payroll. Yeah. But it's like, oh, but, no, but you can't do that. You know, that thing that's super important to the people who actually like the game. Like, probably one of the, probably the most important thing. For sure. But you can't do that, though. We'll still pay you. You can still work for us. Just, just can't do that. That's, that's fucking dumb as shit. And I don't, I'm not even gonna play that's it. I don't, I, don't, I, don't even, I don't even like the series. I'm not even gonna play it. But like, the that, an, that, an, that annoys me. You know, like, that's fair. On behalf of everyone else who's super fucking stoked for this game coming out. So what is your... We went through a lot of stuff there. I'll, re, I'll recoup all of them. Uh, Everybody's Golf, Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, Yakuza Kiwami, Absolver, Ark, Windjammers, and Life is Strange Before the Storm. What's DKP stamp of approval? Mine's going to go to Absolver. All right. Mine is going to go, of course, to Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Stamped! <laughs> Next up. All finally right. made it to September, and we're... Oh, we're not doing too bad. Starting off... With the week of September 4th, we have two games. On September 5th, we have... NAC 2, baby! Damn! NAC 2 is coming Color out. me fucking hyped! Um, NAC 1, you know, when I talked about if, if I ranked all the games I played on the 52-week challenge, like, the, there were only some of them that sucked. This game, the first NAC I played through it this year, might rank at the very bottom. And not necessarily it's the mechanics or the graphics. It is very, very, very boring. It's dull. I didn't even play it. But it's like, very boring. I know that. But, like, <laughs> people talked about how it, you know, reminded them of the was, heyday was, of, like, Crash tech, Bandicoot and stuff. It was it basically a tech boring. demo for, like, hey, look at yeah. the PS4's capable of, look at all the With all the voxels articles. and stuff yeah. like that. Um, what up, Gardog? What up, baby? Yeah, no, that's that's pretty that's pretty standard for, like, Early launch title games, like for sure. some of them are sometimes good, yeah, uh, but a lot of times not it's so much. Yeah, as uh, as Tortilla said, I love how Mac Two is a meme on Splatoon Two. It is a meme all over the internet. Yeah, it, Dunkey, like Dunkey, Dunkey, Dunkey sure does. That, yeah. I think he was the person who, like pioneered. He's been, dude, he's been joking about Mac Two being the second coming of Christ for years <laughs> since Mac One came out. I'll just say I've never seen it anywhere else that like wasn't in reference to to his stuff. So I've seen a lot of people talk about. That. Um, <clears throat> In Either that, way, in a similar yeah. fashion. Uh, anyway, people who've played NAC 2 at E3 and stuff were surprised at how good it was. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be good, but people who like played it at E3... Compared to the first? Yeah. Compared to they were like, wow, this is a lot... Or? Both. Okay. They were like, this is a lot better than I thought it would be. I can't say that people are excited about it, but they're, like, curiously optimistic. So, um, we'll see. We'll see how it pans out. And then uh, on September... Eighth is what I have here, but I feel like it's the sixth. Uh, Destiny Two is releasing yeah. on everything except for PC. It comes out on PC like a month later. Right. It's just like fuck, man. I'm not interested in PC, but like, there are people who would prefer to play this game on PC. 
Yeah. For all the different like customization options that it's going to have. Well, not it's just like that, everybody like, else is going to get to play it for a month like, before. I, I'm, I'm probably not going to play Destiny Two, but like for first person shooters, like yeah, I prefer to play them on PC. Cause I like the control yeah. style better. I mean, it doesn't even it's not even necessarily customization. Uh, but I'll tell you what does suck. And what is insane, it, just as a brief aside, right? Uh, Take Two today said, uh, we're very aware that uh, the PC ecosystem is important, not only for sales, but to a lot of people. But at this time, we are not committed to taking Red Dead Redemption 2 to PC. And it's like, how, I mean, how does Redemption every Grand Theft Auto come to PC, right? And they sell incredibly well for like modding and all sorts of reasons. Yeah. But they're like, they're like, they won't transfer that over to PC. And then when the new one, it's like, okay, well, instead of them taking time to port, you know, the first one, right, which is a lot of extra work for something that who knows if it'll sell well, right, they're not even going to port the new one. I just don't see how that doesn't get the same treatment Grand Theft Auto does, since it's essentially by the same studio. But, eh. Uh, back to Destiny 2. Did you play Destiny 1? I did not, know. I played through this, this, like, the single-player story. I enjoyed it, like... It's Bungie, so it plays incredibly well. It feels really good to play. Um, like, the shooting guns feels good. Jumping feels good. It sure. feels really good to play. But the story was practically non-existent. And I'm not into persistent worlds. I'm not into this, like, games as services type thing, personally. I know they're huge. I know a lot of people are really into them. Um, but, like, I never played any of the expansions. Never played mm. any of the strikes or any of the raids or whatever. Never did any of that shit. Um, but I'm going to pick up Destiny 2. Not saying I'm going to do any of that stuff other than the campaign, but I'm for sure going to play right. through the campaign. But actually, I wanted to ask, is anybody else getting Destiny 2? And if so, what console are you getting it on? Because I want somebody to play through the co-op with. Um, I have it pre-ordered on PS4, but if most people are getting it on Xbox, why not switch over? Cause I just yeah, Destiny never trading. really interested me because it's like, it, it, it had a lot of elements at least that looked like it was going to be from like Borderlands, right? It's For sure. like gun randomization and sort of thing. It's like, yeah, I had enough Borderlands. And the rest of the kind of uh, stuff looked very MMO-esque. Yeah. And it's it like, is. if I'm going to take time it's, and like... I would definitely say it's an MMO. If I'm going to do that, then I'm just going to go back and play WoW. And like, I already have something I'm already invested yeah, in. that's fair. Um, Edify says, in regards to, uh, you know, the PC ports or Red Dead Redemption, because when they're making the game, they make it for consoles. Uh, not necessarily true. Uh, they have to get a working PC build first, and then they port it to consoles, basically. Uh, and that's where a lot of the downgrades happen. So you, when, you're, when you're seeing the shit in the trailers, right, you're, you're not seeing that rendered on, like, a, you know, a PS4 console. Yeah. They're, they're, it's rendered on PC, but then if it doesn't work, so, yeah. Um, yeah. And as far as revenue, you might be right on it. Troy but, T says, Major T, I'm getting the PC version. Join the dark side. No Wazda for me. I'm just not good at it. Why don't you I'm get a one total of those, like a flight joystick. Okay. <laughs> Use that. Or, like, you know, we can get you one of those nice, uh, you know, control wheels. Yeah, nice steering wheel. You can play Destiny with that. You don't got to use says, uh, Borderlands is better than Destiny. I actually prefer Destiny, but to be fair, Tales from the Borderlands better than both of them. At least for my. How about this? Huh? Don't play the one, but instead, play Doom and Wolfenstein. If you're looking for a shooter, just do those. Those are better. I, I haven't even played. I just know they are. They, they have to be. All right. Because they're perfect. Next up is a game that I have not played. I probably won't play. Um, I don't know if you'll be into it, but these the first one did incredibly well in 2014. It was like a 95 on Metacritic, and the second one comes out on... Uh, actually, go to the next slide. Apologies. Oh, wait. Our pick? My pick is Destiny 2. Knack 2, baby! There you go. Uh, uh, this is the, I guess. the week of September 11th. RP. Um... So, yeah, uh, first game from this list, it is a PC RPG, top-down RPG, uh, similar to the older, like, Baldur's Gate and Diablo and that type of thing. Uh, oh. Divinity Original Sin 2. So I watched some videos on it today. Definitely did not still the original interest. Sin if there's now another one? It's, Shit it's game, sequel literally unplayable. Sin. Dude, out of I hear they're incredibly good. I, like, dude, some I, of the best I, RPGs I ever. I know nothing about this series. Look it up. Google it. Do some research on well, it. Uh, they kickstarted it. Like the game, they were working on the game. Oh, and it was a kickstarter like, game. Originally. Well, they worked on the game and they were going through it and they were doing fine. And then um, they were like, well, we, we want to try to make some extra money to see if we can like make this game the best that it possibly can be. Uh, and nobody would give them money, so they're like, let's go to Kickstarter. Went to Kickstarter, got an extra well, middle. Like Diablo. Yeah, or, uh, for sure. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Very much so. Like I said, like the Baldur's Gate type things. Sure. 
Um, but yes, it got a the first one got a ninety four on Metacritic, and anybody who's played it That's or anybody who's got the very chance, high, by the yeah, way. yeah, absolutely. Like, probably, 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 uh, I would assume like everyone, top, everyone top here watching knows that, time. but like, that's insanely high. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, the sequel to it is coming out September 14th. So if you're a PC gamer, if you like mm -hmm. these types of things, I would definitely check it out. What is that? A sale of coals or something? Playing through Original Sin 1 with Zariella. It's a good time. Yeah. I hear it's great. Uh, maybe it's one of those things we'll check out. I like Diablo. So, next up, on September 15th, NBA 2K18. The best-selling sports game in the United States of America. Is it? No shit, really? Yep. It sells better than Madden? Yep. Huh, it sells okay. better than everything. It, it usually usually cracks the top ten, like, every single month. It's insane. The I never, I never that. Yep. Uh, and it's coming to Switch, day and date with the Switch. So, uh, obviously, it probably will be dumbed down a bit, because those games are, like, visually stunning. But mm. anything 2K is fucking amazing. See, Tortilla Nuts. Uh, September 15th, that's going to be a big title for people. Personally, I mean, I don't, I don't know much about it. I know they look insanely good. Hopefully, it's not going to look like. Uh, okay, I, th I think go back if anyone wants to see something in insane. Go back and look at the Wii version of Madden for oh, like the Madden twenty ten. Uh, I had to go do a player knowledge test for that game because somebody was like complaining about it not working or some shit. Yeah, and I popped it in. I'd never seen it before, and it booted up, and it looked like little bobblehead characters. Yeah. And I was like, this Looks releases... Like football. This releases uh, alongside yeah. the ones, like, that it look photorealistic. Yeah. It was absurd. Yeah. So, NBA 2K18 is coming to, like, everything. <clears throat> Hopefully, there's not that much of a uh, difference. I would assume... I don't think it will be. No, probably not. Uh, then, additionally, on September 15th, Metroid Samus Returns. Okay. With all of its uh, amiibo functionality. Uh, Mercury Steam is making this game, and they made Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate. Which is not good. So, <laughs> hopeful, cautiously optimistic about this one. Is this our last? Uh, no, okay. No, we got one more after this. All right. Um, yeah. What are you, What are your thoughts on Samus Returns? Obviously, we shed on the Amiibo stuff, or you shed on the Amiibo stuff last week. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna wait for reviews. Okay. What are, what's it? What's it gonna have to take? Eighty five percent on Metacritic or higher? Yeah. Okay. Like that'd be, and for a Nintendo game, that shouldn't be too fucking hard to accomplish. For sure. If the game's actually it's Mercury the game, the game's so good. Ugh. I know, right? 2K17 was so good, I hope they make, make basketball rounds. I mean, for anyone who, like, who doesn't like, that's the equivalent of like Platonic making a Donkey Kong Country game. Platonic was like the ukulele people. Like, you get excited at first, and like, oh, oh no. Ooh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and then finally, Dishonored Death of the Outsider. This is DLC, but it's a standalone DLC, similar mm -hmm. to Lost Legacy. You can buy it separately. Uh, sure. I, I didn't play Dishonored 1 or 2. Dishonored, I know both of them are incredible. That's what I hear. Uh, Dishonored 2 like, was a sleeper hit for Game of the Year for a lot of people last year. Yeah, so. no, it was, it was great. Uh, so yeah, just check that out. Uh, what uh, is your what stamp is of approval? The... My stamp of approval goes to AM2R, uh, another Metroid 2 remake. The fan-made That's already Metroid. out. That's not an I option. don't care. That's what it's going to. Um, <clears throat> so if you're thinking about playing Metroid Samus Returns, don't. Not at first, at least. Play AM2R first. Do that. It's free. It's, po it's the best Metroid, if not better than Super Metroid. Custom sprite. All original music. Play that. Although it's not something that I would play, I think everybody needs to go check out Divinity, Divinity Original Sin 2. That's going to be good. Uh, Mr. Grimm says, I don't like the answer's voice in uh, Design 2. Me neither. Uh, he always kind of looked like the penguin from... Uh, Gotham, and I guess they just went. Oh, you know what? We'll get the we'll get that guy to play him in the second one. So it went from being like Corvo, what you need to do is find Emily. To listen, Corvo, what you need to do, and it's it's so jarringly different. And they made him look even more like the Penguin from Gotham. And so it's 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 not a deal breaker, but it is just very distracting. I'm with I'm with that. I'm with you, Kurt. Definity Original Sin Two gets my stamp of approval. May not even be a game that I'm interested in, but I think you guys should all go at least watch a trailer, do some research on it, see if it's something that might be up your alley. Gotham's my shit. <clears throat> AM2R. You just said Gotham is your shit, too. I'm I like Gotham just fine. Do you? Yeah. That's Have not you finished it yet? Haven't finished it, but... Uh, it has a lot of low points. It's got it? some good highs. So what is it? The Rise of, of the Villains and then The Return of the Villains or some I shit? Don't, I don't know. Well, there's like it the two half matter. seasons. I got through half and yeah. I haven't watched the... 
whatever the the I guess ending to that was. <clears throat> Next. Uh, the right, week we of September 18th. Mm-hmm. On September 19th, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is coming out. They announced a bunch of new characters. I, You know, I canceled my $200 pre-order for it. Just pre-ordered the $60 one. I'm keeping mine. The statues are cool, but like, not mm. $200 cool. And I'm not even 100% sure I'm going to like it. Well, I mean, I, I, I played three probably more than I've played any other game on the Xbox 360. Uh, so I'm definitely playing it. Yeah, don't know if it's gonna be good. They dumbed down some of the mechanics. The the Infinity Gym mechanics seem to add a shitload of randomization into it, which might not be great. Yeah, as far as uh, you know, being able to skillfully play rather than oh, one of the have the you, time the time gym. Have you heard they're changing Chun Li? Oh yeah, that well they yeah they already did. What like, do you think? To some degree. It still needs some work. Yeah. She still looks like she has like she looks like she's syndrome. down for anything. She looks like she'd be down to, to have, have some DLC costumes. Game. Yeah, it looks like uh, she'd be down to fight people. You know what I'm saying? To do all those things. Oh, I know yeah. exactly what you're saying. Are you um, down to play as Chun Li? Yeah. So uh, the yeah, but what it is concerning looks the art style still looks like shit. Yeah. Uh, don't know if it's intentional for them to look like comic book figurines, where their Doctor Strange's cape doesn't move when he flies. <laughs> it, don't know if that's his intentional. Cape, you know, his cape or, looks like uh, from the Inhumans. That girl's hair. I used to have a Spawn uh, like uh, action figure where his cape was just pure plastic. So yeah. like to make it look like it was moving in the wind. That's exactly what Doctor Strange's cape looks like. It just doesn't move. It's like curved like that, and he just floats in. Uh, there's a lot of things that are, look to be wrong. With me. That being said, I'm still going to give it a shot. It could be fun. could be great. I'm definitely picking it up. So. I just don't know how long it's going to stay in my collection for. I like fighting games, so it's just something to have for shits and gigs. That being said, uh, fuck you, Marvel Disney, for uh, having no X-Men characters in the roster. Not yet, anyway. They'll probably be paid DLC. Next up, speaking of fighting games... Nope. Pocken Tournament DX is coming to Switch. Next up, Project Cars <laughs> 2 on September 22nd. Same day as Pocken Tournament. So wait, are we going through all 75 games? No, we're, we're ending it. So you cut them in half. Yeah. But you I left Cars 2 in? Uh, yeah. Okay. I left Madden in. Well, that's, that's different. Some pe- there are some people here that might, pro- that might play that. Probably will. There, there are probably people are people. in here that like racing games. And supposedly oh, Project Cars. Oh, so they're going to play Cars t- Oh. Project Cars 2. Okay, I thought you had Disney's Cars 2. No, no this or is Pixar's Project Cars. Car. Okay. Supposedly never mind, the most realistic mind. racing simulator out there. You, never mind, I was in the wrong. Gotcha. All right, you're good. <laughs> no one remembers X-Men characters. Fuck you, Capcom. Got a pre-order more versus Capcom. Uh, yeah, Project Cars 2. Some, something, you know, I don't like racing sims, I like arcade racing games, so. Uh, now, this is one that you might get mad about. The Lego Ninjago movie video game. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Ninjago, are you familiar with Ninjago? No, not at all. It is a, a Lego, like, Lego-owned IP with a bunch of ninjas, and it's super silly and over the top, and they have Netflix shows and a bunch of Lego sets and all that. You know how they always had, like, their, this is our Lego Pirates thing. One of their things is Ninjago, which is a bunch of ninjas. Okay. Um, it's just another Lego game. Uh, and that's it. So for the week of the 18th, we have Marvel's Capcom Pocket Tournament, Project Cars, and Ninjago. Stand for approval. Uh, definitely goes to NBC. In fact. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> NBC, you got it, fam. What up, Hardack? Functions. The game. Damn, you could be getting me excited to play Cars. I, I'm sorry, man. You have to buy the to get the X-Mans. I was going to drop 200 on the big pre-order for NBC. Transferred the, the pre-order. Not a bad decision. I didn't think. I'm just gonna keep mine. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the dice on it. And if I lose and the game sucks, oh well. But you, you'll st- you're still getting a dope ass fucking. You Mega still Man do X get quite statue. a bit of stuff. Though. That, that Mega like, Man X statue yeah. is so badass. Like it's almost worth the 200 bucks by itself. Uh, next up for week of September 25th. This is the last week, at least of September, and of the our show tonight. Um, starting off with Danganronpa V3. Killing Harmony. You played them Danganronpa games? Them Dragon Rompas? <laughs> yeah. That, Monica, no, I, that Mama Kuma? Uh, her good things have not played them. They're visual novel games, very like, Before I get to those, like, I, I would be more likely to finally get to playing Persona, you know, okay. which I still need to do. Yeah, I mean, different types of games. 
different, like, yeah, Danny Rump is, but, but is like a take visual a, novel that'll last you like eight But if hours. I'm gonna take like a dip in the weed pool, gotcha. Yeah, that's fair. It's gonna be for like one that I know is great. Tortilla Boy loves him. V3 Killing Harmony. It's the third in the Danganronpa game series. Uh, still haven't played the first two. I, I have one Tortilla Boy. Four, I'll play through one day. You're on, baby. Uh, next up, uh, PC game, Total War, Warhammer 2. You play uh, the Total War games at all? I played Rome Total War when that came. Okay. And I had a, I had a good time with that. Because I was like, this is what they use for the Discovery Channel shows that I watch. Do you remember <laughs> that? And then there was a time when they actually used, like, they'd be like, the Romans lined up against the, the invading Mongol army or whatever it was. And they had, like, it was literally like Rome Total War characters. Like, That's this hilarious. is like back, like, this is a long time ago. But, uh... This is the Warhammer 2 one. Yeah, no, like, Total that War, sounds... Warhammer 2. I'm probably not going to play it, because it's not exactly my style of game. But I am aware of it, and it looks awesome. Anything in the Warhammer 2 universe is fucking pretty cool. Um, That's September 28th. Um, so, yeah, if you're into those kind of games... And what was it? Be on the lookout. Total War, Warhammer 2, September 28th. Yeah, I don't know if it's for uh, 40K or not, uh, which is like the... Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, if you're familiar with the difference, though. Yep. Uh, but, yeah, it probably is. Then on September 29th... An $80 game that also happens to come with 20 other games. Star Fox 2 will be released. Wait, what? Star Fox 2 will be released oh, for $80, yeah, 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 right. and it'll come with a bonus 20 games. But you ain't playing it, though, so well, we can move on. Uh, we're not going to go too deep into this rabbit hole. No, we're not. But <laughs> Nintendo has said, A, that they're doing pre-orders for the SNES Classic, mm -hmm. which they didn't do for the NES Classic, and B... That they will also have extra shipped to retailers, and they will have significantly more than they did for the NES Classic. That go from two to five doesn't is significantly more. Right, it more than doubles it, but it doesn't doesn't necessarily mean people are going to be able to get it. But Nintendo said within the last week that pre-orders are going to go up. So that's the Targets, the WalMarts, the Best Buys, mm. the Amazons, Toys R Us. There's a lot of places, a lot of options. Target. So sure. Um, the, the chances of being able to get one are, at least as of right now, higher than they were for the NES Classic. Doesn't say much, though. That's true. But good luck, though. Star Fox 2. <clears throat> uh, uh, limited pre-orders. Two per store. Uh, got a lot of love for Cuphead here. DKP will be easy to beat. Little Tortilla Boy. Not if I says. Street Fighter. Epic Story can, can, uh, can confirm. Or if Zob was here, he can confirm. I would wipe the fucking floor with your dumbass in NBC. And I plan to. I'll buy the game just on Xbox, just to play you online. So I can whoop the fucking shit out of you. <laughs> Got him! Uh, next up, also on September 29th, FIFA 18. Yeah. Now, I said NBA 2K18 was the biggest game of the United States. FIFA 18 is the biggest game of Earth. Yeah, don't know if we have any of our European viewers in here. If we do, you're probably very excited for this. It's similar to NBA 2K18. It's coming out on fucking everything. Mm -hmm. and it might not be on Xbox 360 or PS3. Unless you button mash like a motherfucker. Uh, but it's coming to Switch, and it is mm. feature complete except for the campaign. And has everything else, though. And it's not going to have the frostbite. <clears throat> so, uh, have fun. And anybody who still works at EA, RIP, good luck. I hope the launch goes smoothly for you, fellas. Yes. Uh, next up, also on September 29th, Cuphead is finally, re finally releasing to the masses after, like, three and a half fucking years about fucking of trailers. Time. But, like, good for these guys. Like, I've yeah, learned more about sure. the game, and, like, they've mortgaged their fucking houses. Like, if this game doesn't sell well, like, they're basically fucked. It's like, gonna sell... Well. This screenshot is gonna sell well, this Well, because, game. like, also, they, these are all... It's all hand-drawn and animated, too. Yeah. Like, that was the only way that they said they, they could achieve the, like, authentic look. Of course. So the fact that they went as far as to do that, like, great. I'm fucking incredibly excited for this game. Yeah, it's going to be hard, which I'm excited. And you will about. definitely be seeing it co-opt and oh, we're single definitely player play or whatever. Show. That might here. be one of those similar to like Uncharted that we're like all the way through the night we're going to play the whole damn thing. And then finally, last game, uh, also week of September uh, 25th, Resident Evil oh. Revelations is coming to PS4. Yeah. Um, now, another you, one. You say to yourselves, why would you care about a port? Is it PS4? I thought it was already on PS4. Nope. No, not the first okay. one. Oh, just Revelations 2, that's right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the reason I say this is because one of the things I absolutely adore about Capcom is they understand the importance of, like, maintaining video game history. Yeah, you also know they just, re, uh, just announced, like, 
Look, 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 uh, look soon for the upcoming new titles on Switch from Capcom. Revelations again. Yeah, like, it's Revelations uh, 1 and 2. It's a two-pack. It's going to be 40 bucks. It's coming to Switch. But, like, um, maintaining and saving video game history is super important to me. Uh, similar to, like, movies. Like, if it's, you know, think about a movie that you love that was in the 1980s. <clears throat> yes, Blu-rays didn't exist back then. But they released the movie on VHS and Laserdisc and DVD and everything. So. Um, Morgan Freeman did seven <laughs> seven one two. <laughs> yeah, what a mysterious name. <laughs> uh, but seeing seeing Capcom, so you remember on GameCube, you could get Resident Evil uh, remake, Resident yep. Evil two, Resident Evil three. No, like, Veronica, it was on some PlayStation people, Some people 2. might shit on it a little bit, but I want to be able to play Resident Evil. One of my favorite franchise, especially the remake, on any platform possible, whenever Absolutely. the fuck I want. To. Whenever I want, and yeah. that I think it is of the utmost importance to try to save as many games as possible and keep them coming out on platforms as consistently as possible. That, if you don't want to buy as many them, games as possible, certain no, series. Absolutely, that is one of them. I, <clears throat> I don't want Skyrim to be coming out forever. You know, I do want well, Resident Evil too, to be coming too fucking out forever. Bad. Though. Um, <laughs> but game preservation, is, at least for me, is extremely important. So I. I love the idea that Capcom says Resident Evil's important to us, and Resident Evil's important to you, and we want to continue to support this franchise and support future consoles. So, like, and dude, I'm gonna buy that get, shit just to support the Resident you, Evil franchise. You can, let them know people are still yeah, interested in it. Absolutely, I would recommend all you do the same. Um, you can get Origins, you can get one or the remake of one. I'm not gonna buy six, which I don't think they're porting. I, it is. It's already ported to PS4. Four, five, and six. No, I'm are talking all on, like Switch. Gotcha. Four, but, five, six, and seven are all on PS4. Revelations 1 and 2 after this will be on PS4. Like, they're pretty much going all in. I hope that means we'll eventually get Resident Evil Outbreak 1 and 2, Red right. Veronica, Nemesis. Like, keep them coming. Keep supporting Resident Evil. Keep releasing them on every fucking console possible. I will give you the monies. Game that being said, our stamp of approval goes to Cuphead. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah. Cuphead. I'm giving Look it out to for that, that one. Well. Um, here, let's some comments real quick. Let's see. So, uh, regarding the MVC kind of, uh, you know, wrestling sort of, you know, I'm being the heel here, I guess, or I defies the heel. I'm the baby face. Uh, Epic Stories, unless you button mash like a motherfucker. So, funny story. Oh, that's old Cole there, right? Yeah. That motherfucker is a notorious button masher in fighting games. And I mean, like, you can hear the controller crying in pain, right? Like, 75,000 inputs per second, which I can only read one, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Continue. Sorry, something was on the laptop. I'll explain that later. Yeah, I was watching Train to Busan. Anyways. So this remind, what it reminds me of is fighting... There's a comic uh, run of Deadpool where he fights Taskmaster. And what Taskmaster's ability is, is he, he's incredibly intelligent. Like, he's able to basically watch you fight one time and, like, knows all, of, like, the way that you move, how your mind works and analyzes shit. But Deadpool beat him because he's like, he has no strategy. I can't even try to get a read on him. He, 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 not, he, he just throws out random shit. It's impossible. And yeah, he beat me once, just button mash or a couple times, just button mashing like a motherfucker. R.I.P. It's like trying to get close to the Tasmanian devil, you know? Uh, let's see. So we got more stuff here. Oh, I do want to say, I Defy is coming in November. Mm -hmm. So we will absolutely, I don't care if you guys don't want to do it, we're doing it. An I Defy DKP Marvel vs. Capcom tournament. Oh, dude. It's Best gonna, of seven. It's, it's going to be the most brutal fucking Best ass of seven. So I Defy. You've ever seen. I Defy, you better fucking play. You better warm your ass up. You better, like, you better you have from September. You should have started warming up two years ago. Go go play. You can get Marvel's Capcom Ultimate on Xbox One or PS3. Play them. Start warming up. Get yourself ready. Because you and DKP will be right here at twitch.tv slash chainsaw <laughs> fighting to the death. Best mm. of seven. I'll be commentating. It's going to be a quick match, man. All right. So hope you're ready. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> so we have a, a Morgan Freeman at 712 join. Yay, Morgan uh, Freeman. You know, uh, <laughs> uh, what Hardak says, dude, this is what indie games should strive for. I know, right? Very reminiscent of our old friend, R.I.P., Eddie Murphy did 7 Eleven. Remember that guy? <laughs> I do, yes. He's a good egg. Morgan Freeman's great. Maybe they're checking to see if there's an audience for the Switch. I think it's fair. Yeah, no, that's what the 
They're talking about Capcom, right? Yeah, they're talking about Capcom. Yeah, they, that's Resident specifically what they said uh, that... Was the purpose of... Uh, of Street Fighter. Yeah. Was and they see. said... Uh, and it sold 500,000 fucking copies. And they 500,000 like, like, cool. copies. At $40 I bought, I, a piece? I, dude, I bought dude, that they made, game... They made $20 million off that I bought that, that game, game just to show support on the Switch. $20 course. million. Dollars. Yeah. And I'm My guess that, is it probably cost them less than a million to port it. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to be bringing more stuff. I have a weeb statue for him. He won during my stream. Nice. Oh Maybe yeah. Well, we'll we'll, we'll have Cole over, and he can he can wreck my controller. You know, I should give him the fucking the game pad, the actual arcade pad. That way, he can just beat it with his fists, and it'll still survive. Oh yeah, no, it'll probably win. Best out of seven. I'm gonna whoop his ass. Same reason I bought it. <clears throat> yep. Got to show support. Uh, final slide, or anything else you want to touch on? Uh, no. Uh, well, as far as a uh, cuphead, I wanted to say the game has not been in development hell. Uh, it's just been in development. So what we originally saw was uh, I think that there what, is what they what they what they were intending on releasing was much much smaller. And due to the um, I would <clears throat> kind of consider that development hell. because uh, like development hell means like it's a lot of times like bureaucratic shit. Like well, th this is specifically bure uh, to me bureaucratic shit. This is an example of them. Putting working on a game that is just boss rush, <clears throat> but mode. they've like tripled, and the then people though, saying, no. "Why is this only boss rush mode?" Microsoft giving them a bunch of money. Here's mm -hmm. a bunch of money, and now it's like add a single player. And then people played the single player at E3 either last year, or the year before last, and it's like this single player sucks. So they've been having to like work through all of that. And by single player, I mean like a campaign outside of just bosses. Right. So I don't know if I'd consider it hell. But it hasn't been an easy development for them. Yeah, but I wouldn't say like it's not like Duke Nukem, you know, yeah. or well, it's, where it's like will, will they, won't they? Yeah, or you know, or Half Life Three, where yeah. it's just it, they won't. <clears throat> My friend sent me here. His name is the very ah, serious dude. But of course, oh, so glad he did. Great to see you, Morgan Freeman. And that day, <clears throat> uh, no need. I'll whoop his ass with the Xbox controller. Well, that's like what I'm going to use to whoop your ass. I mean, come on. I don't. I don't. He he knows. You guys have fucking... to use the same controller. Yeah. No, you don't. I'm, no, I'm saying for like, the tournament, I'm commentating. You guys are gonna have to use the same controller. I mean, that's what I'm gonna use, but right. that's not. That should have no no real then, bearing then, on it. Then don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not, but I just uh, you don't get to make that rule. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm the facilitator I, of this fucking tournament. I'm no. Just, you're I'm the, the, you're the fucking we're commentator. Doing it. I'm the one that said that we're doing it. You just said we're going to play. Get to be fucking I'm turning it into Vince a stream. McMahon, Dana White, fucking Best of seven. You had nothing to do with me calling him out and being like, "Look, yes, you. you called him out." And I said, "Okay, here's how we're doing it. I'm putting it together. You got to use the same controller." Okay, so you paying me? Yeah, with my time. Oh, <laughs> I, well, when you put it that way, <laughs> Hardack agrees with you. Duke Nukem forever. That's a definition. Shit bricks, shit bricks. No, I'm right. chomping at the bit. Anything right. else? No, that is it. Uh, join us for the post stream in what? 25 minutes? Yeah, about 25 minutes. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube in like three months from now, whenever we decide to actually get all those up, um, we do post streams after Prep Ape when we do it live on twitch.tv slash chainside. Check out all these links. We have a website. We have a YouTube channel. We have a Twitter account. You can follow it soon when we go live. We got a Facebook group where we're all hanging out and talking shit uh, and cafepress.com to get you a t shirt. And there's also a, a Discord. But there is a Discord. That's not yes. on there. But it's in our, it's on our, it's on our channel. I still haven't quite figured all that shit out. It's in our channel uh, pan panels, though. So. Yeah, but I don't even know if it 100 percent works. Like, if you don't go down there and click it, it might not. Work. It, I've set it up. It does work. I confirmed it. Okay, it works. Can you <laughs> confirm it now? No, <laughs> you, you guys can go do it. And if it doesn't work, let me know. All right, thanks for hanging out. I'm Major Tom. DKP, and we'll see you guys in 25 minutes.